Hello guys, welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. So today we'll continue with the duck hunt game. Uh, last week, I mean, uh, previous video, we was just showing how to do the target. And then when you fire the shot, you know, it, it subtract one bullet from here. If you have no more bullet, you cannot shoot. So that's where we have left off last time. So uh, today we'll work on the ducks and, uh, you know, for the code to make the duck fly and all that stuff. All right. so. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So let's create some variable. So, okay, so I do have the uh, previous, I do have the uh, variable because uh, what happened is I dragged this in. So that's why I had it. So anyway, let me just delete it real quick. Okay, I'm gonna delete this, delete this, and then delete this. So for the bullet is for all sprite, okay? For duck getting shot, uh, like the duck got hit, that will be all sprite as well. Uh, okay, and then right now we are going to create some sprite for the duck only Okay for this sprite. So we're gonna have to select for this sprite only Okay, so we're gonna have uh, Okay, so here we're gonna create called duck speed. So basically how fast the duck uh, Speed is you can create for all variable if you have only one duck I create for uh, this sprite only just in case later we could create like multiple ducks, then we can use that. So let's just do it for this sprite only, okay? So let's create another one. So this is duck up, down, speed. So this is for up and down when the duck go up and down. Uh, we want to set the speed as well. And then, okay, so next we're going to put something called index. This is for like a loop position. We need that. Um, to loop those things in the for the ducks, so for this sprite only as well. And then last one, we're gonna create one more called duck count. So how many ducks are there? So this one's for all sprite. Okay, so let's let's um, we can we can either take this out, but you can also keep it on. Doesn't matter. So for now, we're gonna set. We're gonna go with the new new flag. Uh, green flag is clicked. So what we're going to do is we are going to set the duck count. So since we're going to have 10 ducks to shoot, so I will say set, okay, duck count to 10. Okay, after this, I am going to set the duck rotation, okay, to left and right so that the duck doesn't flip upside down. Uh, since, okay, and then I'm going to say hide. So in the beginning, we'll hide it. All right, so we'll go create some custom block for this duck called animate duck. So basically make the duck kind of like move. Okay, so we're going to do this. So we'll say switch to costume. We're going to switch to costume number four. Okay, so number four is the duck that is flying around this one. Okay, we're going to use one, two, three for fly away. When the duck fly away, we'll use one, two, three. Four, five, six. We're gonna use it to fly around, and then seven is when it gets shot, and then eight is when it's falling down. Okay. All right. So we'll start with number four, and then we'll say go to front layer. Okay. And then we are going to say show. Since we have high here, we have to have show. Okay. And then we have uh, forever. Okay, we'll have to put in a uh, condition check here because we want to check only make the duck flying if it's not get shot yet. So we are going to use the operator here. So what we what I'm doing is zero. So zeros meaning the duck have not get shot. So one is when the duck got shot. Okay. All right. So we're gonna say duck shot is equal to zero. That means it have not got shot yet. So what we want to do is we're gonna switch to. Um, Number four again. So we're gonna switch this costume. We're gonna do a little wait here. Uh, 0 0.1 second. Since we have a uh, three costume for the flying, we're just going to kind of do one more duplicate here. Okay, so we'll duck four, duck five, and then duck six. Okay, so this is how you make the duck animated ducks. So let's Okay, all right. So we, you remember when the dog, I think, uh, here has something broadcast dog game when the dog uh, jumped into the uh, the grass here. 
So we're gonna use that. So here what we're going to do is when I receive start game, I'm gonna call my block animate ducks. So this will animate the ducks. Okay, so let's let's try real quick. Let's see. So the dog will jump in. We might be able to just take this out for now so it'll be a little bit faster. So you can see the duck is flying. You see it? It's flying right here, right? So this is animated block. This is for duck flying. So we haven't make it move up and down yet. We'll do that in a bit. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna make a new list variable. So what this is going to help us is keep track of uh, which duck got shot or die and which duck you missed so that we could uh, display either red or white right on the bottom. So we'll call duck shot list, okay? For all sprite, okay, so this list is empty. So what we wanna do is when the game start, okay? So we are going to uh, reset it. So first we're gonna delete all the things in here first. Mm. Okay, delete. And then I'm going to do a repeat loop 10 times because we have 10 ducks. And then I am going to use the uh, ver uh, this one. We're going to add this variable in here. We're going to add everything with negative one. So negative one, meaning, you know, we haven't started yet or you missed it. Okay. Zero, we're going to say is uh, starting the, the ducks. And then one is when you actually get hit the ducks. I'll show you a little bit in the later. So let's say if I click on this, it'll run it. And what it does is going to fill up 10 of them. And it's going to be negative one. So you can see one to 10, right? Or negative one, right? So that's how much, uh, that's how we had so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to use it on this one. So we're going to put like the, uh, the, uh, the hit, the hit count is going to be in the front. So we can see it. Okay. And then we can add a range of little ducks on it. Okay. So uh, while we're here, let's just finish this part here. So what we're going to do is when green flag is clicked, uh, we are just going to put it in this position since uh, I had it last time. So that's why it had that position basically somewhere in the bottom. So if you see it, you can see it right now because like the grass is here. But if I click on it, you see the little flash. So that's kind of where it is. And then I say when green flags click, it's going to hide this. When uh, start game. Okay. This is when the dog, uh, dog jump to the back. Start game, what we want to do is we're going to go to the front layer, okay? And then we'll say show. Okay, let's let's try it. Let's, uh, so what I'm going to do is going to take out the code for the uh, dog for now, okay? So that way we don't need to do, do with the dog. So let's just duplicate this over here. And we are going to use the podcast. So we don't have to see the dog kind of moving. So it'll be faster for us for testing, okay? Okay, all right. So you can see the hitbox comes in the front. You have the ducks kind of flying over here, and then you have the list populated. Okay, all right. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the ducks right now. So so far we have this code for the ducks. Uh, I will actually have to create another custom block called ducks flying. So what we're going to do is make the duck kind of fly up and down. So let's make a new custom block called duck flying okay say so, okay so this is another custom block over here uh, what we're going to do is since we have 10 ducks so the first time the ducks fly we're gonna subtract one so making making uh, one less so you have one less so duck count by minus one so we have nine ducks right so what happened is I'm gonna subtract one from the 10 ducks and then I'm gonna set the index so we're gonna use this index to set the uh, you know set the uh, this point, uh, this little position here. So let's do that. So you say set uh, index is for the loop, right? So we can say it's 10, we're gonna use operator. Okay, operator minus. Uh, what we're going to say is 10 minus the duck count. Okay, so I, I'll show you why we need that. So let's just take this out a little bit. So let's say the duck count uh, for instance, let's set the so when when you uh, when you have ten ducks right when you send the first duck out it, we do a subtract one right so it will be nine right 
So if this has become nine, you do 10 minus nine is what? One, right? So that way, that means, you know, you're in position one of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this variable here from, um, you know, uh, so that we can know, okay, if the ducks get hit or not. So we have using this list, we can keep track of which duck got hit. Okay. So that's why we need that. So we do 10 minus that. So let's say next time your duck is at number eight. So let's say the second duck, right? You can um, subtract one again. So it's going to be eight. So if it's eight, then 10 minus eight will be two. So you're in position two for the second duck. So this is kind of going backward using this going forward. That way you can point out which position you are in. Okay. So I hope you guys understand that. So let's continue. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use something called replace. Okay, so we, we're going to replace the item at the index. So this index I just told you, right? So right now, let's say not 10 minus 9 is 1. So index is position 1, right? So we're going to say, hey, replace the index, uh, the position. Okay, the index here uh, in this duck. Uh, shot list with zero. So basically zeros meaning the ducks is the one that is flying. This one is the one that's uh, flying or in process of flying. Okay. And then we're going to broadcast something called uh, new message here. We're going to call this uh, next duck. So this one is going to help us to uh, uh, set up the ducks to to show and blink. Okay, so we're gonna use that. We we do that some. We will use that later. Just have this broadcast for now. Then we are going to use the go to position. Go to, and then we are going to use the pick random. So I'm gonna use a negative one eighty to one eighty. So somewhere on the top left and right. Let me just hide this. I'll put this over here for now. So basically the ducks is somewhere like here. You see this 188, right? So we'll keep it around 180, somewhere around here and then somewhere around here. Okay. All right. Okay. And then the Y position, we're going to make him, make the ducks trying to kind of fly around this area. So I, I put, um, so if you go down here, you can see the Y changing, right? Uh, what I did was I did like around 35. So, so 35, maybe a little bit down. So from this part, you know, see 34 to kind of like this part. So one, 150 ish. Okay. So, uh, oh, I, I did 135. Okay. 135 is good enough. So this is when it first start. So we're going to put it as 35 to 135. Okay. All right. So they'll keep the ducks around this area. And then next we're going to use a little weight. Uh, weight 0 0.1 so with this we're gonna have to set up the other info, uh, stuff so we're gonna do a little wait here before it start okay now we're gonna change the duck speed okay we're gonna set the duck speed so this is how fast the duck fly uh, what I'm going to do I mean if you want it slower then make a smaller number so what I'm going to do is from 2 to 4 so so some ducks will fly a little bit slower, some is faster, okay? Then we're gonna get this forever loop here. Where's the loop, sorry. Here, okay. So this will make it uh, fly around. And we're gonna use the operator also. We we'll to check, make sure the duck is not dead before we allow it to fly. So remember we're using this variable check, so we'll use the same one. Basically the duck shot is zero, meaning the duck has not died yet. So we are allowed to fly. And then we are going to use another thing. So this is a variable called uh, duck up and down speed. What I'm going to do is just increase by four. So what we're going to do is kind of keep this going. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to use a cosine to make it a small number and then like a small variation. So the duck is going to go up and down. Okay. All right. So next. Okay, so we're going to use the if condition here. So we will put that into here, inside here, okay? Okay, so if either it is touching the ground, which is this ground sprite here, this guy, or the edges, on the edges, we're going to have to bounce him around. So we say or, and then we are using the sensing. So this is touching the edge or touching the ground sprite, 
Okay, stop this. The ground sprite. Then we're gonna change the direction. So if it's uh, touching the ground or the this one, we're gonna change the direction. We're gonna say direction, point in direction. Okay, and then we will use the uh, operator multiplication operator multiply uh, negative one times the direction. So basically, it's gonna go opposite. Okay, opposite way it's going. If it touch that, let's say it's on the, if it's on the left, then it goes to the right. If it's on the up, it goes down. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna move the ducks. And then uh, you remember we use the speed, right? Duck speed here. We're gonna use that. So we'll say duck speed. Okay. So some ducks are fast, some ducks are slower. Okay. Then we're gonna have these two more uh, uh, check inside. So inside this uh, edge, okay, we're gonna put this thing, and we are going to say if the Y position, basically if the duck's uh, Y position is greater than 165, we're gonna make it go down, okay? So we will say change Y, by minus 10. And then we're going to duplicate this. We're actually going to have to use the other sign. We're going to say use a less than sign. If the Y position is less than negative 18, somewhere in the bottom here where the ground is, we are going to push it back up. So we're going to change the Y by 10. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is, and then if we doesn't touch the edge or the ground, we also need to move the duck, right? So we're going to have another one, say move. And you have to put this under here, okay? So not the edge one. So you see that it's outside the edge, okay? Outside the, that, okay? So you put it here, and then you say move the duck speed as well. And then you're gonna say change Y. So what, what we wanna do is we wanna make the duck kind of go up and down. So we'll say change Y. And then we are going to use some uh, operator to help us with this. We're gonna use a multiply, okay? And then we are going to use a cosine. So cosine of the uh, up and down speed. We have this up and down speed. We're going to use a divide operator also. So put this up and down speed over here. We're going to say divide this by two. And then we're going to use that, put it on the cosine. And then put this into the multiplication. So, and then we're going to pick a random between two to six. Okay. So making the kind of the the, uh, the, the ducks move up and down because this cosine could be a negative number or a positive number and multiplying by two or six, either go down or go up, okay? So take this whole block, oopsie, take this whole, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> take this whole thing, drag it in here. Okay, so let's take a look at the code again. So this is the whole thing where the duck is flying and we have to call this custom block. Okay, so we have the code here for the uh, start game. Here, we're gonna call this custom block ducks flying so you don't want to put these two together what in one block because let's say you have a forever loop here it will kind of wait over here and this one not activated so you have to separate into two different call okay so let's save it and let's test it out okay so let's test this out real quick and move this over here let's see so you can see the duck is flying you see it fly it goes up and it goes down so let me hide this box here i guess you'll see it a little bit better so you can see it goes up so you see the duck is kind of flying around it hits the bottom it go back up and then when it it hits down it go up and down so it's kind of like randomly flying so that's what we had so far okay all right okay so we have kind of the ducks flying around and uh, we are able to see it kind of move up and down and it's animated. So we'll probably stop right here for now. 
And then in the next episode, we'll show how you know you shoot the ducks and the ducks fall down and stuff like that. And if you miss, the dog will laugh at you. So we will do that next time. All right, thank you guys, and uh, see you guys next time. Be sure to like and share this video with your friend. Okay, have a good day. Bye bye.